Hey guys, today I'm gonna to give you some tips for singing Oh Come to the Altar by Elevation. The original recording is in the key of B and the whole song basically sits right on that transition spot in the male voice. Some of you have probably tried to sing this and you feel that tension in your voice, especially in the chorus and bridge. It's right at the top of your range and you have to hold on for dear life if you don't want your voice to crack. Oh, what a savior. Isn't he wonderful? We have to be really careful to not just push up on our voices when we start to feel that kind of tension. The answer is not just to muscle through. The most important thing you can learn for singing high notes is to get the resonance out of your mouth. And that's what I wanna focus on in this video. So I'm gonna demonstrate the song in the original key of B. But for many of you guys, as you're learning and getting comfortable with this technique, the key of A is gonna be a lot more manageable for you in this song. For girls, I recommend singing the song in either the key of D or E, whatever feels best for your voice. Okay, so in singing, understand that your body is the instrument. It's like a guitar, the strings on the guitar vibrate and they send that vibration to resonate or buzz in the open space of the body of the guitar. In your voice, the vocal cords are like those guitar strings. They send the vibration to the open cavities inside your face, so your head becomes the resonator, like the body of the guitar. And there are different places in your face that are the most efficient resonators for different parts of your range. Higher notes need to sit higher in the face, lower notes need to sit lower. If I move my speaking voice to resonate in my head, hear how it sounds like this, because it's higher up in the face, and hear how the pitch raises up quite a bit higher as opposed to speaking comfortably at a lower pitch where the sound is resonating lower in my mouth. So when we push up on our voice, Oh, what a savior, isn't he wonderful? The sound becomes dull. The resonance is all sitting in the mouth. The larynx jumps up and the higher we go, the more strained it gets. Sing hallelujah. Oh, yeah. The higher the pitch, the less efficient the mouth is as a resonator. So instead of straining and trying to muscle it out, we've got to get the sound out of your mouth and move the resonance higher up in the face. Oh, what a savior. Isn't he wonderful? Sing hallelujah. Christ is risen. Okay, so that's the general concept we're going for. I wanna show you how to do that. And this needs to start right from the beginning of the song. In the key of B for guys, there are no low notes in this song. So there should be no singing only in your chest voice. Okay, so verse one, first of all, we're gonna think about that buzz, that resonance sitting a little bit higher than the mouth. So we actually get a mixture of chest voice, mouth resonance, ah and pharyngeal resonance. Ah, are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin, Jesus is calling. Notice how it's got a little bit of this cry sound because the resonance is sitting right here. Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling. The other thing I want you to think about is really telling a story with these lyrics. Leave yourself room to grow. Don't give away all your volume and power right at the beginning of the song. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? I have nowhere to go, I have no more volume to give. We want the song to be a journey, so we have to leave room to add power and volume and emotion later on. Another thing is you wanna to learn to sit in the groove, sit in the rhythm of the timing of the song without it feeling rushed or choppy. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? Jesus is calling. These lyrics are so invitational and relaxed. And so we want our voice to have that smooth, gentle, wave-like sound where every word is connected to the next one. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin, Jesus 
voice is calling Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the whale? Jesus is calling Let's talk about the chorus. We're gonna give a bit more volume and power once we get here. There are a lot of uh and ah uh sounds in this chorus, so we wanna train our voice to find those resonant sounds in the middle of the face using our pharyngeal resonator. Okay, so we're gonna try singing this chorus melody on a na 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 sound. I want you to drop your jaw slightly and narrow your mouth. Na na. A lot of people feel really strange doing exercises like this and honestly so did I years ago when I started doing this technique but I promise you it works. If you listen to the worship leader from Elevation you don't hear him just shouting this chorus out in his chest voice. Oh come to the altar the father's arms are open wide. When you do that the voice is constantly in overdrive it gets fatigued easily, it goes off pitch, and eventually it causes vocal damage. You've gotta lift the resonance out of the mouth and throat and mix it with a resonance that's higher up in the face. I want you to listen to the original recording of this song. Maybe even pause this video right now and listen through a bit of the song or listen afterwards. But what I want you to hear in Chris Brown's voice is this cry sound. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. That cry sound is coming from literally a little bit of a whiny pharyngeal cry sound, the resonance sitting right here in the pharyngeal resonator, mixed with the fullness of our chest voice's resonator. So it's not all chest voice. Oh, come to the altar. And it's not all pharyngeal voice. I'll come to the answer. It's a mixed resonance, a blended resonance, and it takes the pressure off your vocal muscles. It gets the notes on pitch. And the added effect is that it also has this emotional quality to the sound that is really effective for delivering these lyrics. This is an invitation. Come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide for you. Think about when you're trying to convince someone one of something. If you just talk in a low, monotone, slow voice, it's not very persuasive. If you don't seem excited about it, how am I supposed to get excited? Okay, so let's put these chorus lyrics back in, and here's how I want you to try pronouncing the lyrics so that you get the most efficient shape inside your mouth for a really beautiful tone. Oh, come to still singing an ooh sound here, but I'm not letting the mouth completely shut. I'm keeping a bit of an open uh shape on the inside of the mouth. Oh, come to the altar, the father. Notice how on these uh sounds, I'm narrowing the mouth and dropping the jaw. The father, zom, za, open, wide. We don't need some of these final consonants. It keeps it much more relaxed and conversational when we soften the ends of the words. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Notice how open this vowel on Christ is. Now try singing that nasally na 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 sound back to back with the chorus lyrics. Na, na, na.
girls, you can try the same thing, just a few keys higher. Na, 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 Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood. talk about the bridge basically we just want to apply these same concepts here it does go to the highest note in the song in the bridge an f sharp on the sing hallelujah so we really need that higher resonance in the face ideally even a little bit of head voice mixed in so you can really find release on that top note okay so first i want you to find a pure head voice on that top note that f sharp hoo hoo go go Cool, cool, cool. Then we want to mix that quality with a lower resonance in the face to get a bit fuller of a sound. No, 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 no. Sing hallelujah. For girls, try that up here. Who, who, go, go, go. No, 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 no. Sing hallelujah. Now we're gonna go back to that na sound and find the cry. Na 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 na. And just cry these lyrics out. Oh, what a savior! Isn't he wonderful? Sing hallelujah. Christ is risen, bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen, oh what is It goes into a soft chorus, then it builds back into a bigger chorus. And then in the final verse, we really want to bring it back to that softer storytelling tone to finish off the song and really complete that journey. There you cry, say you wait for the crown. Tell the world of the change you found. Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Honestly, the biggest reason that a lot of vocalists can't hit high notes with power and ease is because they're just trying to yell the notes out of their mouth and throat and there's a much better way. Learn to cry on pitch. Seriously, it sounds crazy, but it works. There's so much power accessible to us. There's so much freedom accessible to us when we find this pharyngeal cry-like resonance. I encourage you to check out my Discover Your Voice training videos and vocal workouts on theworshipvocalist.com if you want to train your voice to be able to access this powerful mixed voice in every song. This is what I love to do. Help worship vocalists like you on your singing journey to find freedom and breakthrough and confidence in your worship leading. 